a small part on the high lifted brake, it got stuck and he could only use it to hire rope the car. That was a really dangerous situation. Welcome to a new episode of Raw Life Talk. Today I'm going to talk about high lift versus bottle jack. We had both, so this is all our experience regarding both of these tools. Today we do have a preference for the bottle jack and I'm going to explain why. When we got our Land Rover Defender and started to equip it and buy some tools and also that my husband started to do um, maintenance all by himself, as in the community having a 4x4 we saw that going for the high lift, a real one, not a fake high lift, was the way to go. So several years ago he bought a high lift and as it's like a big tool you don't have like many possibilities to store it if you don't really have space inside. Most of the 4x4 owners do tend to install it on the outside of the body of the car. Installing the high lift on the outside and not having a protection on it does mean that it's out there, it takes all the elements and the weather and it can be in a bad shape after a few months, a few years, also depending where you live and how are the elements uh, bringing down the quality of this cool tool. He used it and when using it he did break it. Well, a small part on the high lift did break when he was hiring up the car and it got stuck and he could only use it to hire up the car and not getting the car back down again. So that was a really dangerous situation. He did manage to obviously remove the lift, but he did have to take a bottle jack. Did you use another bottle jack? Yeah. Oh, you, you took a second high lift to remove. So he used a second high lift and a bottle jack to remove our broken high lift. Yeah, he's telling me that we did use it for a few years without any problems before that happened. So it really might be because of the fact that it was installed on the exterior of the car and that the quality did get a hit is because of the elements, the outdoors elements. So regarding the high lift, the other problem that we see now as we are bottle jack users is that where you place the high lift to higher up the car is on the body of the car. Whether when you use a bottle jack you will use it on the chassis, on the axles and it's much easier to use a bottle jack for example if you want to replace a tire because if you have depending on the suspension that you have on your 4x4 when using the high lift to higher up the body of the car the suspension will take a while before hiring up also with the help of the high lift so using a bottle jack makes it much easier as you put it on the chassis or on the axle when you want to remove and replace a tire so we find it easier to use the bottle jack and also safer to use as you don't need to hire up as much the car as with a high lift. Also regarding the high lift depending on the setup of your car as said and your suspension we have a plus two inch uh, suspension kit and Depending on that, you do have to buy a certain type of high lift. So it's already like a large and heavy tool. So if you have a 
close to in Schliffke like we do, you will have to go for the longer high lift, meaning that again it's heavier, more difficult to store inside of the car and if you install it on the outside, you also might install it more on the upper height of the car, meaning something's heavy again more on the top rather than uh, near the chassis. I think this is what we did. Mm? We had it more on the roof. On the roof rack. It was installed on the side on the roof rack and at the back also at some point. But still on the roof rack. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have much choice. So, having a bottle jack rather than going for a high lift for the storage um, situation for us, it's much easier. We can keep it inside of the car and store it in our interior setup. So this was also making things easier to take it out, um, to take it with us when we go out. When you use the high lift, you, you do need a base. So we had this large orange base always with us in the car also. So this takes up some space and you really do, do need this base to use it properly. It's, it's a good tool. I'm not saying it's a bad tool. It's a good tool, but it's not that easy to use and depending how you use it, where you are, the situation in which you are and that you need to use it, it can be dangerous. My husband told me that also some say that it's possible to use it as a winch. I didn't know that, but you're going to tell me, have you used your high lift as a winch? We have a winch, so we don't see uh, how we would use the high lift as a winch when we had it back then. And I think it would really be if someone is, a, is in a really bad situation and that would require to winch and doesn't have a winch. And yeah, this is like a very specific situation that maybe would happen, I don't know, once in a lifetime and maybe not even that so I don't know this yeah tell me if you used your high lift as a winch once that would be interesting to know battle jack we like it oh you tried it okay did you manage to do it oh so he tried to do it but he told me he said that you go one meter from one meter so it's really a, a hard job and pain. long, painful job. Pain in the ass. A pain in the ass. Okay. <laughs> so, her, so he tested. I didn't know that, but that was previous having a winch. So, bottle jack. It's small. You can find some that can withstand the um, lo heavy load of our car. So you need obviously to buy the right one, just as for the lift, high lift. And you can use it in many situations to help you when you are uh, doing some hard mechanic that it's difficult to ha hammer up some parts back in place. You can use your bottle jack to help you. Um, yeah, you can use it not only to replace tires and all that. So it's, um, how do we say? I don't remember the word versatile uh, tool so that is really useful when you have that kind of tool in your car and when you are out and about of landing and off grid the fact that you don't need to hire up the car too much to replace some some parts is also uh, quite a good point on safety i think and if really you need to do like a 
big work on it. You can have two of them and have the car secured. So yeah, I th today we do think it's more useful and more safe to have a bottle jack than a high lift. So now you're gonna tell me, do you have a high lift? Is it all good for you to use it? How did you put it on your car? Where do you have something to protect it? Or do you just leave it all rusty on your car? And or like us, do you prefer to have a bottle jack in your car to do all kinds of works on your car? There you go. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And also comment below to let me know if you have a topic you would like to hear from us and know our opinion on it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.